Hey everyone, uh, we're going to do some maintenance today on the uh, uh, D21 pickup. Uh, you got the uh, right front wheel, is a little loose, uh, bearings need to be repacked and uh, tightened up to specs, but uh, I'm not going to repack them because I don't have any grease and I don't feel like going to the store to buy some, and plus that shit's nasty. Uh, so we're just going to tighten it up today. Uh, these are all the tools you're going to need to uh, tighten up your wheel bearing on the front end of your pickup. Uh, like I said, the pickup's only a two-wheel drive, so I mean, we probably won't use all of these tools, but we'll probably end up using most of them. I uh, need the cutoff wheel here, get the uh, cotter pin out, and you'll need uh, this uh, 36, uh, 43 millimeter uh, axle nut socket. You're going to need some uh, fuel quick disconnects and the caliper repress tool, uh, coolant, uh, funnel, some vice grips, and a bunch of various uh, wrenches and stuff like that. Oh, you need a pickle fork, a uh, compression gauge, and a uh, pressure vacuum gauge. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get going. All you really need is a uh, I think it's an inch and a sixteenth socket for the uh, nut on the front, a 21 uh, six point socket for your uh, lug nuts, and uh, you need a jack stand for safety reasons, put that bitch underneath there, and uh, we'll get this set up here. I really need to invest in a nice camera with a stand. First you want to loosen the lug nuts. For you people who don't have a impact handy, like myself. Here. And we'll uh, employ the jack stand here on the frame. Also, we'll have the uh, we'll have the uh, jack up underneath the frame there as well for support. Can never be too careful when you do this shit. So. So uh, a few years ago when my dad owned this truck, he took it to Walmart to get it serviced uh, once in a great while. And uh, of course Walmart being a bunch of fucking stupid asses, they put anti-seize on their lug nuts, whenever they do tire rotations or whatever, and you're not supposed to do that. And they couldn't figure out how to get this wheel off, so they decided to hit the front of the wheel, or the face of the wheel, with the fucking hammers. So now the wheel's all dented, and... What a bunch of fucking idiots. So... Because they don't know any better. No one's taught them the proper way to do this shit. So... I really should invest in the, uh electric half inch impact one day it's kind of hard to do that when you have car things going on you've already done spent all your tax return money on car parts well I spent half of it anyway and uh, once you get the wheel off throw it underneath the truck like so. Throw it underneath there. So if it does fall somehow, you know, and if you're laying underneath it, you'll have that third extra protection. And then I uh, have the wheel chalked over here. 
because my uh, storage unit kind of slants down towards me. So, uh, Okay, let's see. I'm trying to get the, the best angle for you guys. This really isn't happening. And then... I need to get the dust cap off. I either don't have any fucking clue where it's at. But if you turn it... You. And of course you get fucking grease everywhere. So I'm gonna clean up the shit mess. It's always always good to have a uh, roll of uh, paper towels in the I'll get this sheet and stuff and then drag it everywhere else. Alright. Let's see here. As you can see, the uh, there's a cotter pin here. And then there's the castle nut on the back side. And then behind that is your nut to uh, adjust your bearing tension. So uh, we shall do that real quick. Next you'll need some pliers, which I do have, so uh, pull this out here, pull this one out here, some grody ass shit. Sometimes I don't mind getting my hands dirty, and then there's some days where it's just like, oh, damn. Got a little bit of sniffles today. Please don't mind that. I think I have cotter pins in the other box, my big toolbox over yonder. And pull your castle nut off and like I said earlier you're, you're really supposed to uh, once you do this and you break it open you might as well just pull the whole shit out and uh, and uh, repack your bearings and all that good stuff but I don't feel like doing that today and I don't feel like really getting all that damn dirty so you'll need to as you tighten it you'll need to spin the wheel or spin the Spin it in multiple directions. So the inspection stuff runs out on my truck here this month. So I'm having to put all this or do all this maintenance and shit to it so it'll pass inspection. So you at least have it licensed the rest of the year. Two years anyway. I think I can get two year 
two year tags for my truck and then I'll only be able to get uh, one year tags for the car and then once you get your cotter pin put in you just rotate it around squeeze it down nice and tight like so pliers off here so they're nice and clean for the next round super fucking windy today and then you just put your dust cap back on beat that bitch back on there like so it's quick and easy if you that's all you're really doing so it'll take but what five minutes total so that's pretty much all we got going on today with the pickup oh i noticed that the uh fuel line was leaking so i uh uh, tighten up the fuel line here. It was underneath the uh, underneath the uh, air intake box, and there was this line down here that I've uh, replaced before. This little clamp here was loose, so I tightened it up, and uh, that's the third time I've had to tighten that. Uh, tighten that clamp well not that one per se but uh i've had to tighten those clamps twice the besides putting them on so. but uh other than that yeah that's real quick and easy bullshit so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video i uh, probably won't do a whole lot more to this unless it fails inspection and at that point then i'll have to start fixing it and and uh yeah, I got a tail light to put on as well, so it's busted. So I have a brand new tail light for it. Uh, well, my dad was married to the other woman. Uh, she backed into someone here, so I'll make a quick video on how to replace that. So, uh, all right, we'll see you guys.